It's time for class. Please come to the mat. Lie down, take rest in Shavas and everybody. Arms apart, legs apart, comfortably. Relax the body from toes to the head. Starting with the toes, let the relaxation touch each part of the body, moving upwards towards the head. Relax the legs. Relax the back. Relax the arms and the shoulders. Relax the neck, head and the face. Mentally scan the body, let go of the tension, the tightness, and now focus on the breath. Take a few slow, long, and deep inhalations and exhalations. Inhalations bringing you lots of fresh prana. Exhalation, letting go of the tightness, the tension. Allowing the body to relax down with gravity. Be breathing with full awareness. Gently bring the legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head and give a good stretch to the body. Stretch the whole body. Release the stretch. Bend the knees, turn over to one side and please sit up for the prayer. Sit up straight. Any comfortable sitting position, close the eyes. <clears throat> Let's stand home together and concentrate on the prayer. Gajananam bhutaganadi sevitam kapiti jambo parisar bakshikam umasutam shokavinashikaranam namami vit nature padapankajam shirananam kumkumarati varnam mahamatim tipemayura vahanam rudrasisunam surasenyanatam buham sadam sharanam prabhate ya kundendu tushar haritabara Ya Shubra Vastra Vrita, Ya Veena Varadhanya Mandita Kara, Ya Shweta Padmasana, Ya Brahma Jyoti Shankara Prabhati Be, Devai Sata Poojita, Samambatu Saraswati Bhagwati, Nishishu Jadhyapaha, Om 
नम शिवाय गुरुवे सचिदानंद मूर्त निष्प्रपंचाय शांताय श्री शिवानंदते नम श्री विष्णु देवानंदते नम ओम सर्व मंगल मंगल शिव सर्वाथ साधिके शरण्ये त्र्यंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते ओम शांति 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 ओम निष्काय वेलकम टू द क्लास लेट्स गेट रेडी Preparing for the Kapalabhati practice, take your sitting posture, any comfortable sitting position. Put the hands on the knees in Chain Mudra. Shoulders roll back, chin parallel to the mat. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale. One more breath in here. And exhale. the first round of kapalabhati bring the awareness to the abdomen inhale deeply and again 
body, the neck, the shoulders, the face, sit up straight. Focus at the third eye center, relax all the facial muscles, relax the jaw, relax the ears. To hold the breath, inhale three quarters of your lungs, gently retain the breath. Control, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Before starting the alternate nostril breathing, if you have to adjust your legs, shake out the tension, please do that. When you find yourself ready, please recross the legs, any comfortable position. You will try Padmasan. Sit with your back straight. Don't force yourself into any posture. Just feel comfortable. Right hand in Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Chin Mudra. Put the hands on the knees, shoulders rolled back, back straight. Inhale deeply, put the nostrils. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Block the right nostril with your right thumb. And a long, long practice. Through the left inhale. Um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Hold the breath. Close the nostrils. Be gentle with the breath retention. Do not tense any part of the body. Allow the energy to circulate freely through the body. Right exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Hold the breath gently, close the nostrils. Left exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, lift, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Right exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, eight. Awareness at the third eye center, point between the eyebrows. Right shoulder away from the right ear, right elbow is close to the chest. Keep the back straight, shoulders roll back. Left exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, left, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, hold. Um, 
Right, it's here, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right, on one, on two, on three, on four, retain gently. Intention anywhere in the body. Be fully alert in the body and be alert in the mind and allow the mind to wander. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, gently hold. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four, hold the breath. Long inhalations, longer exhalations. So in the count four, inhaling to your full length capacity, expanding the chest. And in the count eight, exhaling the breath completely. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Relax the body. Relax the mind. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, four, eight, eight. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four, hold. This is the last breath retention, last round. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Bring the hand down. Put the hands on the knees in Chinatra. Keeping the eyes closed. Just relax the body for a while and breathe gently through both the nostrils. Keeping the eyes closed, please stretch the legs and lie down. Take rest in Shavasana. Arms and legs comfortably apart. Keep the awareness on the breath.
Take a deep breath, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch the arms up, stretch the whole body, move the toes forward, and pull the toes back in, press the back down, contracting the abdomen, stretch, stretch, and release. Bend the knees to the chest, hug the knees tightly. And now stretch the arms in line with the shoulders. Inhale, as you exhale, lower the knees to the right and turn the head to the left, press the left shoulder down, relax the neck. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, lower the knees to the left and turn the head to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, knees to the right, turn the head left. Stay here and breathe. If the knees are not on one on top of the other, use your right hand to bring the left knee down on top of the right knee. Relax the feet down, knees down, shoulders down. Relax the face, focus on deep breathing. Inhale, slowly come back up to the center. As you exhale, lower the knees to the left and turn the head to the right. Stay here, breathe, adjust your body and relax completely with the breath. Inhale, come back to the center. Hug the knees using your hands, bring the knees close to the chest. And now hold the back of the thighs, rock the body forward and backward. Bring the feet forward down on the mat and then go back, feet all the way over the head. To swing your buttocks, lift up higher, shift the body weight towards the shoulders to bring the feet more towards the floor. Do it a couple of times and then stand up for sun salutation practice. The first round of Surya Namaskar. Feet together, inhale. As you exhale, join the palms to the chest. Allow the shoulders and elbows to relax. Thumb stretching the heart center, weight of the body equally distributed on the feet. Inhale, stretch the arms up along the ears and push the buttocks forward, look up with the hands. Exhale, stretch the body forward and stretch down. Place the hands with the side of the feet, bend the knees if you have to. Inhale, stretch the right leg back. Right knee down, toes pointing back and look up. Hold the breath, left leg back. Plank pose, body in one straight line. Pull the abdomen in, align the shoulders on top of the wrist. Exhale, knees down, chest down, forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back into cobra, relax the shoulders. Exhale, tuck the toes in, lift the buttocks up, look to the toes, inverted V. Inhale, bring the right leg forward. Left knee down, left toes pointing back and look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Shift the body weight forward with your hands pressing down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch the body forward, stretch up and arch back by pushing the buttocks forward, look up to the hands, don't drop the head, keep the knees straight and exhale, release. Second round, inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, lengthen your body up and arch back. Exhale, lengthen the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Understand your body, understand your limit. Hold the breath, lift leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees down, chest down, forehead down. 
Slide your body forward, inhale, arch back, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, right foot between the hands, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch the body forward, reach up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, the left leg forward and look up. Exhale, right leg forward. Inhale, stretch the body forward, reach up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Third round, inhale, feet together, exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, stretch the right leg back a little more away than before and hold it here, breathe. Now center the hip, don't allow the body to lean one side. Keep breathing. Now tuck the right toes in, take the left leg back, hold the posture and breathe into the plank. A mindful practice brings more benefits to the body. So always be aware of each part of the body, feel the pressure, feel the pain and adjust your body without disturbing the alignment of the body. Exhale, knees down, chest between the hands, forehead or chin on the mat. Slide the body forward, inhale, arch back into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes in, lift your hips up, inverted V. Stay here, breathe. Now let's focus first on the right foot. So keep the toes open. Press the inner edge, the outer edge, the arch and the heel. Keep the knee straight. And then focus on the left foot. And keep the awareness on both the feet. Push the heels more down. Press the toes more down. Keep the knees straight, tailbone lifted up. Now focus on the upper body. Keep the fingers slightly separated to get a good grip of the mat. Arms in line with the shoulders. Uh, sorry, arms in line with the head. And push the chest down without squeezing the shoulders into the ears. Tuck the abdomen in. Feel the length of the back and breadth of the chest. That's what I mean to say. So be fully aware of your posture. And the next breath, next inhalation, draw the right leg forward, place the right foot between the hands, move the left leg a little more away, hold and breathe. Don't tilt the hips one side, don't tilt the left buttock down. So lift the left thigh up and center the body. Yes, that's better. On the exhalation, bring the left leg forward. Stay in the forward bend, keep the fingertips or the palms pressing down, Shift the body weight forward. For any discomfort, you are free to bend the knees and bring the chest close to the thighs, forehead close to the knees, top of the head reaching down. Gently, slowly, as you inhale, stretch the body forward first, break it into steps, stretch the body up, arms up, pull up from the waist, and then push your buttocks forward without dropping the head back, look up. Exhale, release, that's very good. Left side, at normal pace, Inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg all the way back and look up. Don't lean the body to the left side, center the body. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back, cobra. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, the left leg forward, left foot between the hands, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, shift the body weight forward. Inhale, stretch the body forward, reach up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Fourth round, inhale 
And exhale, prayer. Inhale, arms up, arch back. We go in a flow. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg all the way back and look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch the body forward, reach up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, warms to the chest. Inhale, lumps up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, left foot between the hands, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Next round, inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch the body forward, reach up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Last round, the sixth round, feet together. Inhale, with full awareness, exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back all the way and look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, reach up and arch back. Push the buttocks all the way forward, look up. Exhale, release. Last time on the left side, inhale and exhale, bounce to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the lift leg back all the way, look up. Don't lean one side, hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted way. Press down and lift up. Inhale, bring the left leg forward. Left foot between the hands and move the right leg more away. Look up. As you exhale, bring the right leg forward. Shift the body weight forward. Press the hands down and bring the chest close to the thighs. As you inhale, stretch forward and reach up. Arch back, pushing the buttocks forward. Look up. And exhale, release. That's very good. Separate the legs apart. Keep the eyes closed. Take a few breaths, inhaling through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Take a few relaxing breaths. <clears throat> when you're ready, please sit down, lie down, take rest in Shavasana, arms apart and the legs apart. Relax.
It's the regular and consistent practice, which brings benefits to the mind and the body. If you practice one day, you miss classes on the rest of the three days, it's not going to help. So kindly be regular to the classes. Don't miss classes. These are online classes. Wherever you're going, if you, even if you're traveling, you can attend the classes. So don't take it as an excuse. Please come regularly to draw the benefits from this 90 minutes class. Watch the body, mentally scan the body from toes to the head and let go all the tightness from the body. Breathe into the tension. Join the legs together, take a deep breath, interlock your fingers, stretch the arms up, stretch the whole body, stretch the body and release the stretch. Let's get ready for the single raises. Place the arms by the side of the body, palms facing down, feet together, toes pointing up, bring the chin close to the chest. Work with the abdomen, inhale, raise the right leg up. Keep the knees straight, all 10 toes towards the head and left thigh pressing down. Be fully aware of your body. As you exhale, bring the right leg down with control. Left leg up, inhale, follow the breath. Exhale down and listen to your body. Right leg up, inhale, exhale down. Left leg up, inhale, exhale, bring the leg down. Now bring the arms under the body. Let's rotate the legs five times clockwise, five times anti-clockwise. So raise the right leg up and rotate the leg. Go slow. Work on the hip joint. Keep the knees straight, toes pointing up, heels pushed out and chin towards the chest. Once you're done with the right leg, please raise the left leg up and start the rotation. Clockwise and anti-clockwise, five times each. Now bring the arms from out from under the body, close to the place them close to the body and bend the left knee. Place the left foot across the right thigh. Now as you inhale, raise the right leg up. Hold the back of the right thigh and bring the leg closer to the body. Keep the lower back on the mat. Stay here and breathe. Go close the eyes. So right toes are pulled up towards the head and try to move the left knee away from the body. Keep breathing. <clears throat> On the exhalation, raise the head up, chest up. 
and if you if it's possible please walk the hands up towards the ankle or hold wherever it's possible do not lift the lower back keep the awareness on the hip joint keep breathing slowly and deeply relax the neck and the shoulders slowly exhale place the head and chest down and release the right leg down with control for a while bend the left knee close to the chest hug it and stretch the uh, once again raise the head up chest up as you exhale come up bhavan muktasana on the right side stretch the chin nose or forehead towards the right knee uh, left knee lower back pressing down shoulders away from the ears slowly exhale bring the head and chest down arms close to the body raise the left leg up inhale with control exhale bring it down now bring the right foot across the left thigh bend the right knee and raise the left leg up as you inhale hold the back of the thigh stay here and breathe keep the left knee straight and move the right knee away from the body to work more on the hip joint lower back on the mat close the eyes and breathe as you exhale raise the head up chest up adjust the hands position without lifting the lower back up and keep the awareness on the hip joint stay for a couple of deep breaths relax the neck and the shoulders slowly as you exhale re uh, release the head and chest arms by the side uh, bring the left leg down with control and hug the right knee close to the chest on the exhalation raise the head up chest up come up adjust your body center the body don't let the body lean to the right very good slowly exhale raise the head and chest down arms by the side of the body raise the right leg up as you inhale with control gently slowly exhale bring it down turn the head side to side and get ready for the double leg raises arms by the side of the body with palms facing down or tuck the arms under the body if the arms are under the body make sure to place the hands not under the lower back but under the buttocks or you may interlock the fingers behind the head feet together toes pointing up inhale raise the legs up work with your abdomen not with the arms or the shoulders with control exhale slowly with full awareness bring it down inhale second time up exhale very slowly bring the legs down third time inhale up exhale bring the legs down go with control down very good fourth time inhale up exhale down fifth time up inhale exhale down one more time inhale up now hold the back of the thighs and stay here relax the body now stretch the arms in line with the shoulders draw the legs a little more closer to the head on the exhalation lower the legs to the right side of the body turn the head to the left press the left shoulder completely down hold the back of the thighs or the toes with your right hand and move the legs a little more up towards the 
uh, in to bring it in line with the shoulder. Keep the left shoulder completely pressing down and focus on deep abdominal breathing. Keep the legs together and knees straight to work more with the abdomen. Inhale, raise the legs up, bring the head back to the center. As you exhale, first draw the legs more towards the head and then bring the legs down towards the left side of your body. That's very good. Turn the head to the right. Focus on pressing the right shoulder down and keep the knees straight. Relax the body. Now keep the knees straight, legs together. Inhale, raise the legs back up. As you exhale, lower the legs down with control. Relax with arms and legs apart. Take a deep breath, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch the arms over the head and give a nice stretch to the body. Stretch, release the stretch. Bend the knees, turn over to one side and please sit up. Into the child's pose, Shashankasana. So just give it a try, the headstand practice. Nothing to worry if you don't achieve it. You must take rest in the child's pose. And please slowly sit up. So let's let's first do the yoga push-ups or the dolphins. Sitting up on the heels, hold the opposite elbows, place the forearms ahead of the knees, wherever you're comfortable. Now stretch the arms forward and lock the fingers. Tuck the toes in, lift the knees up. Everybody together today, the dolphins. Adjust your feet and straighten the knees. Now, as you inhale, you stretch the chin forward beyond the hands towards the mat. Exhale, you're going forward. Inhale, you're coming back up. <coughs> so do this a couple of times and have a figure in mind. Do at least 10 and then take rest into the child's pose. Then repeat two more sets of this kind. So you're bringing an added strength to the entire body along with the arms and the shoulders. But if you do it slowly, you get more strength with the same number of push-ups. And those who like to do the headstand practice, they can just come up into the headstand.
If you've been doing the dolphins, please take rest for a while and we'll try the first few steps of it stand. Now please sit up on the heels, hold the opposite elbows and place the forearms close to the knees, stretch your arms forward, interlock the fingers loosely. Now lift the buttocks up, place the top of the head down, back of the head against the hands. Don't move the knees back yet. And now tuck the toes in, lift the knees up. Walk forward. Walk forward. Stay here and breathe without making any other change to the body. Allow the blood to flow towards the head. Everybody give it a try. There's no harm to the body. There is no fear of falling. When you are in this step, now walk back to the same position where you were and then walk forward. Do this five times. Walk forward until you feel the back is straight and the hips are aligned on top of the shoulders. Do this five times. Now bend the right knee to the chest. Stay here and breathe. Don't raise the knee up. Just try to bring the knee as close to the chest as you can. Keep the tailbone lifted up. And the same thing, do it with the left knee. Keep the tailbone lifted up and try to shift the body weight towards the hands. And let's come down, take rest into the child's pose. Relax. It's a good try. Please sit up and take rest in Shavasana. Turn the head side to side. Mm. Take a deep breath, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch the arms over the head, stretching the whole body. Release the stretch, fix the arms by the side of the body with palms facing down, preparing for the Sarvangasan, shoulder stand. Feet together, toes pointing up, move the shoulders a little more down. As you inhale, raise the legs up. Exhale, swing the trunk up and support the back into the shoulder stand. Now, to adjust the body, you may bend the knees to the forehead or just move the body here and there. Adjust the shoulders and the shoulder blades to bring the elbows closer. Hands more down towards the middle back and then stretch the legs up. So try to align the heels, the buttocks and the shoulders by pushing the buttocks towards the head. And keep the buttocks lifted up. Shift the body weight entirely to the shoulders and reduce the pressure on the hands. More you resist, difficult it becomes. So reduce the resistance while you hold the posture. Relax the legs, the feet, the shins, the calves, the knees, the thighs, the buttocks. If you're very comfortable, close the eyes, still the body for some time. Okay. 
automatically abdominal breathing taking place as you constrict the upper part of the lungs. Working so strongly, deeply on the thyroid and the parathyroid glands, the mustard gland in the body, responsible for the metabolism and controlling the calcium levels in the body. Nobody should avoid this posture. In case you're not able to come up, use the ball. We have a video on shoulder stand with the wall support. Take a look at that. And every day, make sure to do the practice. Now lengthen up the body a little more as you inhale, adjust your hands position. On the exhalation, bring the right leg over the head with control. Just go as far down as your body may allow. Do not overdo with your neck muscles. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, left leg over the head with control. Go slow. That's very good. Inhale, the left leg up. And one more time as you exhale, Bring the right leg over the head. <clears throat> Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the left leg down. Inhale the left leg up. Now adjust your body. Prepare for the halasana or the plow pose. On the exhalation, bring both the legs down with control. If you have problem in bringing the legs over the head, you can just bend the knees and bring the knees to the forehead. Stay there and then whenever you're ready, you may straighten the legs down. If the toes are on the floor, please stretch the arms on the mat and also try to interlock the fingers, pull the arms away from the body. And you may notice as you pull the arms away from the body, you release the tension from the neck and you are better relaxed. Knees pushed away from the forehead, tailbone is lifted up. I feel a good stretch from heels to the tailbone, tailbone to the neck muscles, to the neck. Keep the back straight, you're doing very well. Working on the spinal column on the back, stimulating the abdominal organs. Feel a good stretch in the hamstrings. So lengthening the hamstrings, which get shortened as we age. Now we are ready to come out of the posture. So come, uh, coming out is as important as going down. Bring the arms on the mat, lift the feet off the floor, using your arms as brakes, very gently, slowly bring the body down and with control, bring the legs down. Turn the head side to side, take rest in Shavasana. Feel the changes taking place in the mind as the practice is advancing. One single class brings a lot of benefits to the mind. Mind is more relaxed, more calm by the end of the practice. Now get ready for the Setu Bandhasana. Bend the knees, hold your ankles. As you inhale, raise the buttocks up and come up. Feet flat on the mat. Lift the buttocks more up so that the thighs get parallel to the mat and the chest becomes closer to the chin. Relax the face. Once again, working on the thyroid, parathyroid glands along with the spine. And make sure to move the knees and uh, knees a little closer without actually moving the feet so that it works on the quadricep muscle and strengthens the kneecap. Slowly as you exhale, come down. Keep holding the position, we'll do it one more time. 
draw the feet a little more close to the buttocks and inhale lift your buttocks up try to hold the right ankle with both your hands come up right ankle with both your hands and keep the buttocks lifted up raise the left leg up just try if you never try you know get it very good flex the face exhale bring the left leg down now hold the left ankle with both your hands and now raise the right leg up as you inhale keep the buttocks lifted up very good slowly exhale bring the leg down release the buttocks down body down and bring the knees hug the knees close to the chest now on the exhalation raise the head up chest up for bhavan muktasana come up keep the lower back on the mat shoulders away from the ears contract the abdomen stimulating the abdominal organs feel a gentle soothing pressure on the lower back relax the neck muscles slowly as you exhale bring the head and chest down arms by the side of the body inhale raise the legs up and with control exhale bring the legs down last in the sequence of shoulder stand giving the counter stretch to the body with matsyasana the fish pose slide the arms under the body elbows are hidden under the body hands stretch down legs together inhale raise the head up chest up come up high on the elbows look to the toes as you exhale lift the chest up and arch the back place the crown of the head gently on the mat keep pressing on the elbows reducing the pressure on the neck and the head slow down the breath after every inhalation long inhalation pause for a while and after every complete exhalation pause for a while that's what brings changes to the mind slow down the breath Now, as you inhale, raise the head up, chest up, come up, look to the toes, and exhale, bring the head and chest down. Please, the arms from under the body, rotate the wrist a few times, and turn the head gently side to side. Relax in Shavasan. Feel the lightness in the upper body, lightness in the mind, releasing all the pent up feelings and emotions as you release this posture. Let's relax into the supta badu konasan. Bend the knees, join the soles together. Keep the feet at a comfortable distance from the body. Relaxing the inner thighs, allowing the knees to come closer down towards the floor. Keep the breath active. Every exhalation, be sure to press the back down. Relax. Let's join the knees together and then stretch the legs forward. <clears throat> Interlock the fingers, arms over the head, giving a nice stretch to the body. Stretch the body, and please sit up. Join the soles together for the butterfly. Sit up straight and flap the knees.
Now use the length of your mat and separate the legs wide apart. Use the length of your mat. Separate the legs wide apart as just as wide as you are comfortable. Bend the left knee and place the left foot against the right thigh. Now stretch the arms up and up. No, don't cross the foot on the thigh. Place it just touching the thigh, correct. Stretch the arms up as you inhale. Now as you exhale, stretch from the lower back. Go slow, place the hands down and come down, center. Half butterfly forward stretch. Stay there, that's very good. So now while you do this, you need to observe the body. Both the sitting bones should be on the mat. Don't allow the body to lean to one side, center the body and make the chest parallel to the mat. So stretch with the breath, do as much as possible. Whatever little you do, you get the benefit. So effort is important, but don't tense the body in order to come down. That's very good. As you inhale, stretch forward and reach up. Exhale, bring the arms down, interchange your legs. Inhale, stretch the arms up, lengthen up the body. And exhale, stretch from the lower back, place the hands down and stretch the chest down. Just do what the body is ready for, otherwise you get injuries. So listen to your body, breathe into the stretch, breathe into the pain and allow the body to come down. As you inhale, stretch forward and stretch up. Exhale, release the arms down. Now stretch both the legs apart. Let's try the Upavishta Konasana. Inhale, raise the arms up. As you exhale, extend the body forward and hold the big toes with your hands. Or you may hold the outer edges of the feet. Aim to bring the chest down rather than drop the head down. And also you may try to, you may like to stretch the arms forward on the mat. So you just find your way to bring the chest more down before you drop the head down. It's very important that you relax the inner thighs. Don't try to go down with your tight thighs. First breathe, relax, and then try it. Toes pointing up, heels pushed out and knees pushing down. Very good. As you inhale, stretch forward and reach up. Exhale, place the hands behind, fingers pointing away from the body. Let's give a counter stretch in the same position, legs apart. As you inhale, raise the buttocks up, drop the head back and come up. Stay up. Five, four, three, two, and one, slowly come down. Now join the legs together for Pashimutanasan. We'll hold it for 30 seconds. Inhale, stretch the arms up along the ears. As you exhale from the lower back, stretch the body forward and come down. Use the initial three to four breaths for adjusting your body. And then simply let go, allow the body to relax, still the body. That's very good. Complete surrender of the mind and the body. Keep the breath deep and active. Don't keep on fidgeting, just let go. Slowly stretch forward and stretch up. 
Let's raise the posture and exhale, place the hands behind, fingers pointing away from the body, toes falling forward, drop the head back, Purvottanasana, inhale, raise the buttocks up and come up. Stay up. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come down. Relax on your abdomen. Make a pillow with your hands. Turn the head to the right. Big toes touching, heels fall apart. Relax. Get ready for Mujangas in the first backward bend. Place the forehead down. Tuck the elbows into the chest. Fingertips in line with the shoulders. Elbows pointing up. Legs together. Toes relaxed away. As you inhale, raise the head up. Chest up and come up. Don't overdo. Just keep the body relaxed wherever you are. Shoulders down, away from the ears. Lower abdomen, pressing down. Work more on the upper back. Use the strength of your back, not the not the hands or the arms or the shoulders. Just make sure to release the chest completely off the mat without hunching the shoulders. And slowly exhale, come down. Turn the head to the left, make a pillow with your hands, relax, big toes touch together, knees fall apart. Now, place the forehead down, stretch the arms by the side of the body with palms facing up. We are doing a variation of Shalabhasana today. Arms close to the body, close to the body, in line with the body, correct. Feet together, toes pointing back. Now, as you inhale, raise the head up, chest up, legs up, arms up, come up. Very good. Hold it here. Five, four, three, two, one, slowly come down, we'll do it once more. This time, interlock the fingers and place the hands behind the head. Place the hands behind the head. Sakti piche. Interlock the fingers behind the head, behind, piche. Correct. Now, inhale, raise the legs up, head up, chest up and come up. Very good. Keep the chest lifted up and open. Knees straight. Still the body. Still the body. Stay. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Mahesh, head up, chest up. And one, slowly come down. Make a pillow. Relax with head to one side. Then Urasana, the bow pose. Bend the knees, fold your ankles, fold it on the mat. As you inhale, lift the knees up, thighs up, head up, chest up and come up. Keep pulling the legs up, knees up, thighs up. And the chest more up, still the body. Stress the chin up, close your eyes. Relax the facial muscles. Working so strongly and deeply on the abdominal organs. Feel the contraction in the back, combining the effects of Bhujangasana and uh, Shalabhasan. So working on the entire spine. Stay five. Keep the body lifted up. Don't drop down the knees and the thighs. Three, two, and one. Slowly come down. Just for a while, turn the head to the opposite side and relax. Now place the hands under the shoulders. Give yourself a good stretch. Come up on the knees and the hands. Let's do the Marjriyasana. Align the knees and the hip. 
wrists and the shoulders. Inhale, arch the back, stretch the chin forward and push the hip back. Exhale, round the back, bring the chin to the chest, tuck the abdomen towards the back and hold the breath outside. Stay there. Inhale, stretch the spine, arch the back, look up. And exhale, draw in the chin, the abdomen and hold the breath outside. Come back to the neutral position and stretch back into the wide angled extended child's pose, Uthita Balasana, knees apart. Sitting between the heels, big toes together, bring the chest down, arms stretch forward, chin or the forehead down. Please slowly sit up and join the knees together. Let's prepare for the half spinal twist at the Matsingrasana. Lower the body down to the right side. Bring the left foot across the right thigh. Place the left hand behind in the tailbone. And if you're sitting on the heel, please make sure to bring the buttocks down. Right arm up, inhale, lengthen up the body. As you exhale, twist to the left. Push the outside of the left knee with your upper right arm. Try to hold the ankle and look to the left shoulder. So your chin is close to the left shoulder. The twist takes place from the lower back, from the abdomen. So lower back, middle back, upper back, and then the head. Keep the back straight. Close your eyes. Keep breathing. Now inhale, raise the right arm up and exhale, bring it down, change the side, sitting to the left side of the body, bring the right foot across the left thigh, place the right hand behind, raise the left arm up as you inhale, lengthen up the body, exhale, twist to the right, lean forward, push the outside of the right knee with your upper left arm, hold the ankle, look to the right shoulder. So twist more from the lower back. Try to place the right hand towards the left buttock. Then you get a better twist. Just try it. Right hand towards the left buttock. Piche wala hat. Dusri taraf mein thoda sa. Correct. So chest opens. Keep the shoulders in one straight line. If you think the left shoulder is hunched up, you need to Move the right foot just a little more forward without making any change to the body. The strong massage to the abdominal organs, working on the uh, on the vertebral column. As you inhale, raise the left arm up and exhale, release it down. Bring both the knees close to the chest and sit up straight. As you inhale, raise the head up. Stay there, drop the head back, chin up. Mouth is closed. And on the exhalation, bring the chin to the chest, drop the head forward. Inhale back to the center. Very gently, exhale, as you exhale, turn the head to the right, stay. Inhale back to the center, exhale to the left. Inhale back to the center, as you exhale, gently lower the head down towards the right shoulder. Don't hunch the right shoulder up. Feel a good stretch in the left side of your neck. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, lower the head down to the left. Inhale, come up. And release the posture. Let's get ready for the crow, Kakasan. Come into the squatting position. 
those who are unable to do the krokakasan you may try it and then move into the uh, tree pose if you like brikshas uh, make a rough square with your hands fingers are turned slightly in to get a good grip of the mat knees rest on the upper arms look at a point in front she is already up into the crow lift the feet up when you're ready by transferring the body weight forward it's very good always try to increase the time of your holding if you're holding for 10 seconds the previous class make it 12 to 13 15 seconds in this class and slowly release the posture please stand up use the length of the mat separate the legs just 2 feet apart length of the mat just 2 feet apart turn the right foot to the right side left foot in turn the upper body also to the right Pashu Uttanasan. Stretch the arms up as you inhale. Lengthen up. As you exhale, go slow. Stretch the body forward and come down on the right leg. So, depending on your practice, you may place the hands by the side of the foot, or you may place the hands on the shins or the thigh. You don't have to come all the way down if your knee bends. Chest close to the thigh. Knees, both the knees straight. understand why we are doing it keep a good stretch in the hamstrings you're doing very well as you inhale stretch forward and stretch up let's do it for the other side keep the arms in the same position turn the left foot out and the upper body also to the left right foot slightly in as you exhale stretch forward and come down on the left leg paschutanasana Just close to the thighs, thigh, and hands for the side of the foot, or you may place the hands anywhere on the leg. Keep the knee straight. Slowly stretch forward. Inhale, stretch up. and exhale bring the arms down now point both the feet forward raise the arms up as you inhale as you exhale stretch the body forward and come down hold the toes with your hands prasarita padottanasan or you may hold the ankles or place the hands on the waist whichever way you are fine just do that now your job is to make your back straight keep the elbows bent bend the elbows hook the toes in your fingers uh, hold the toes with your fingers correct bend the elbows keep breathing now place the hands on the mat between the feet and try to bring the top of the head down if you have not yet reached with your head down go with the breath prasarita padottanasan gently slowly come up just the way you've come down take your time come up and bring the legs together dangle your arms loose come up fully let's bring the legs together give a counter stretch to the body support the back drop the head back feet together legs together and then separate the legs just hip with apart correct push the buttocks forward and breathe slowly come up get ready for trikonasana separate the legs apart around 3 to 4 feet turn the right foot to the right side left foot is turned slightly in separate the legs legs a little wider we look legs a little wider keep the hips facing forward stretch the left arm up as you inhale lengthen up the body and exhale bend the body down to the right side look in front or look up keep pushing the right buttock a little forward in order to uh, keep the alignment of the body stay up breathe
Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, bring the arm down. Feet pointing forward, turn the left foot to the left side and turn the right foot slightly in, hips facing forward. Inhale, stretch the right arm up. In, come up. Lengthen up. Exhale, bend down to the uh, left side. Make sure to move the left body forward a little. Open the chest up. Look in front or look up. Keep the right elbow straight, left shoulder away from the ear, left elbow bent. No pressure on the hand. Allow the body to bend down more sideways and not forward. Inhale, slowly come up. And exhale, bring the arm down. Join the legs together. Come to the front of the mat. Time for final relaxation. Please sit down, lie down, take rest in Shavasana. Slow down the breath. This is the time we integrate finally the effect of the 90 minutes class that you've been doing so far. So do not skip the fun relaxation. If you are in a hurry, just be there for some time instead of skipping it. Let's tense the body parts to relax each body part. Raise the right leg two inches off the mat, close to the mat, tense the leg and drop it down. Left leg up, close to the mat, tense the leg and drop it. Squeeze the buttocks off the mat, tense the buttocks, tense, tense, and drop. Contract the abdomen, press the small of the back to the mat, let go. Lift the chest up, 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 and drop it down. Squeeze the shoulders into the ears, up, up, move the shoulders away, and raise the arms up two inches. Clench the fingers tight around the thumbs, tighten the fist, tight, tight. Open the fingers and tense your arms, tense, tense, and release. Tense all the facial muscles to the nose, tight, tight, let go. Open the mouth, stretch the tongue out, open the eyes wide, look the forehead, stretch the face, stretch, stretch, and release, close the mouth. Move the shoulders more down, gently turn the head to the right. Try to bring the right cheek down and turn the head to the left. Come back to the center. Make the final adjustment to the body. Legs are comfortably apart, feet relaxed to the sides. Arms six to eight inches away from the body with palms turned up. Chin close to the chest. Back of the head is long on the mat. Shoulders away from the ears. Keeping the eyes closed, just scan the body from close to the head. If you feel tension anywhere, consciously let go. Now still in the body for the next three to four minutes. Relax the toes, the soles, the heels and the ankles. Relax the shins and the calves. Relax the knees, relax the thighs. Relax the buttocks. Relax the abdomen, relax the chest. Focus on the back, relaxing the lower back, middle back. The upper back. Relax the arms, relax the shoulders. Relax the neck and the head.
Relax all the facial muscles, soften the forehead and the eyes. Relax the jaw, relax the ears. The body is relaxed. Move the awareness to the internal organs. Auto suggest each organ for a good relaxation. All the internal organs are resting or at rest and relaxed. Become aware of the mind. Let go to thoughts. Relax the mind. Relax. 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 Draw the awareness back to the body. Move the toes, move the fingers. With the feet and the hands, shake out the legs and the arms. Very gently, take your time, turn the head side to side. Breathe consciously, join the legs together, interlock the fingers, stretch the arms up, stretch the whole body. Place the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side. Take support of your hand and whenever you find yourself ready, sit up. We end the class with the final prayer. Asitoma sat kamaya, tamasoma jyote kamaya, breathe your mom, ritangamaya. Om purnamada, purnamidam, purnan, purnamudachate, purnasya, purnamadaya, 
ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಿ 